Today we are going to have a look at some of the world's best setups. But first, let's check out some of your setups that you sent using hashtag DST reviews. We'll start with Instagram, move on to Twitter, and finally we will end up looking at some of the best setups on Reddit. Oh, I like the nice warm lighting from the monitor. I used to do that on my old setup. Here we have a PC and a MacBook, one monitor. I like how the PC is wall mounted to save space because you don't have a very big desk. I see you copied the wallpaper I used to use. The wooden countertop looks really nice. I am a bit biased because it's the same one I have. So I see you have the Delta Hub Carpio Wistress here. I use it every day. The felt desk mat, you have the same chair I have here. We have a screen bar, a 24-inch monitor, a vertical stand for a MacBook. There's a second laptop here. I assume these are the same IKEA plants I have here. Keychron K6 keyboard, solid keyboard, the D-Boom something something. It's one of the pixel art displays, just like the one I have there. BenQ screen bar. I'm pretty sure that's a Porsche 911. Delta Hub Carpio MX Master 3. Orbit key deskpad. iQnix F96. Whether you need two keyboards, you have a mechanical keyboard and you have an Apple Magic keyboard. Instead of using two keyboards and two mice, use a KVM that will allow you to use the same keyboard and mouse for two different systems. See, we have another setup with one, two laptops and one and two keyboards. Just use a KVM and you can use the same keyboard and mouse for two different systems. Double monitors. BenQ screen bar. Highly recommended. Delta Hub felt desk mat looks really nice with the Delta Hub wrist rest. By the way, that's a cool way to mount the accessories. Okay, we have a large desk here. We have an Asus laptop here with an LG monitor. Try to get a headphone stand for your headphones. I like the creeper head. Oh, that cable management. <laughs> I had the same problem. I also had the cable dangling like this. Try sticking them below the desk. First of all, the PC on point. Really clean. I love it. The black and white color scheme with some green accents looks really nice. You have a matching headset, which I would recommend getting a headphone stand for. I think this is the Glorious Model D, also color matched. And Pro 2 keyboard with wooden keycaps and also color matched. Well done. And you also added white strips on the front. Well, this looks more like gray, but I like that. It's very hard to see this area, so try adding some lighting here. I think it will look a lot better. The PC is on point. I really like it. Hey, by the way, I had those speakers. Oh, I like it. The warm lighting. It's really nice. This is the Deepcool CL500. I really like this PC case. It's one of my favorite budget PC cases. Felt mousepad. That's a Razer Viper. I don't know what keyboard is that. A Blue Yeti with the boom arm for the Blue Yeti from Blue. Dual monitors mounted on a arm. The chair looks pretty comfortable. Also, I really like the carpet. It complements everything else. This thing here looks like a lamp, but why don't you just get a BenQ screen bar? I mean, yeah, I don't think you can mount the webcam and the BenQ screen bar at the same time, so understandable. Oh, this is a clean one. It looks so nice. We have a fourth generation Echo Dot, Edifier speakers with more IKEA plants, ultra wide monitor, perfect. I think these are some dampening panels, but I'm not sure. Wireless Logitech membrane keyboard looks nice, but Look at that desk, I love it. We have an MX Master 3 with a large black bounce pad. Oh, another screen bar. I can see more screen bars. A screen bars every day. I think this is a 32 inch monitor. I don't like how this looks, but if you already had it, it's understandable. We have a Keychron K6 with a very, very thick wrist rest. Oh, the Marshall speaker, they look really nice. I want one of those. Hey, and you're watching my video in your iPad Pro. 10 out of 10. I don't have anything else to say. This is a 10 out of 10. Just because you're watching my video. Oh, I like this. Another BenQ screen bar. We have a 24 or 27 inch monitor mounted on a arm. A steel series mouse. Everything is color matched to orange. I think this is a Drevo keyboard. I'm not sure. The felt desk pad looks really nice. That's a macro pad. I can't see much about the PC, but it looks pretty good. Oh, wow. These lamps look like eyes and I think they look pretty Pretty funny but I don't know. Just clean up everything, remove unnecessary stuff and do some cable management and hide the power strips. Oh wow! Guess what? <laughs> Another BenQ screen bar. The Nano Leaf is very well executed, no crazy RGB, just white, looks really nice and it matches the wallpaper so bonus point for that. The $1 IKEA plant is a perfect fit. The PC looks very good but there's one thing I have to complain about. I don't like how there's a 240mm radiator and there's one fan there and it's uneven. I don't like that. But if you already had this cooler laying around, it doesn't make sense to buy another cooler, so it's understandable. Mechanical keyboard. I want this desk pad. Guess what we have here? Another 
Another thank you, Scream Bar. There's a lot of Scream Bars eh, out there. Pretty clean. We have a custom keyboard here. I think that's a Tofu 65. MX Master 2 with a felt desk pad. There's not much more you can see because everything is black. I saw this one when I was checking the submissions. This is very creative. You can see the shadow here. So I assume it's a projector from the other side of the room. I like the creativity of this setup. This is the first time I see something like this. And you have a custom keyboard. This is the Space 65. And we have an NCXT H1 PC tower here. By the way, I saw some news that the NCXT H1 were being recalled because some of them were catching fire, so yeah, be careful with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why do you need seven displays? And one of them is a 49 inch ultra wide. Why? Oh, I like this. This looks really nice. I love that lamp. The wallpaper looks on point. We have another one of these IKEA things. These two plants are really nice. I don't know where they are from, but I really want one. Oh, wow, those views. I don't care about the setup, but those views. I want this huge window and those views. Oh my God. Oh, and by the way, the setup is pretty cool. <laughs> I love black and white setups. The black and white chair, black and white desk, the PS5. The LED square he made here looks really cool. The wallpaper complement the setup really well, but I don't know why this monitor is off. There's a mirrorless camera and two lights, so I assume he's a swimmer. I think this is dampening foam, but I'm not sure, but it looks really good. My minimalistic setup. I think that's too minimalistic and not exactly ergonomic. Oh, wow. That custom liquid cool PC mounted on the wall looks really good. One, two, three, four. Why do you need four 3D printers? You have that 49 inch ultra wide. Ooh, I like this one. I think these are called levitating pots or levitating plants. Not like that one there. The monitors are mismatched, but I can forgive it. It looks really good. We have a Pikachu. This chair complements the setup really well, but I'm not sure about how comfortable it is. This wallpaper is perfect. <laughs> Black and white setups are awesome. I've seen people use tube lighting. It looks really good. I don't know what is this, but I want it. We have Star Wars here with another one of these IKEA things. I like how he implemented the hexagon. The lighting in this setup is a 10 out of 10 for me. Oh, this looks good. I assume it's glued because otherwise it will tip over really easily. I think I should get a foot rest. The blue legs are a bit distracting in my opinion, but overall this setup is really, really good. What? Who brought their entire setup outdoors? Oh my God. Those are some nice views, but where does the power come from one two three four five six seven team custom keyboard let's go i want a workspace like this here's the main display oh and here's a laptop display wait is that a convertible laptop i like the addition of plants and some pokemon stuff we have studio ghibli pokemon and mechanical keyboards that's a 10 out of 10 for me. Oh wow, you match the wallpaper with the wall art. That's pretty cool. This iPad stand looks really good. Looks like the Pro Display XDR $1000 stand. I think this is a Keychron K3. I love this bamboo countertop. Oh wow, that's a lot of alcohol. <laughs> Thanks to COVID-19, I've been investing my travel budget into work, drink, play. Yeah, I can see the drink part. <laughs> Before having a look at the next setup, do you want me to make a new and updated setup tour? My first setup tour was made when I only had like 262 subscribers and a lot has changed since then. Thank you so much for supporting Daily Setup Tech. We are almost at 8000 subs and we even got our first sponsor. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for both beginners and pros that want to explore new skills or deepen existing passions. I personally always aspire to be better, so learning from Skillshare classes is one of my favorite things to do. There are multiple class topics for you to choose from, and by multiple I mean basically almost anything for all skill levels, including interior design classes to learn how to make your room and setup look better, or photography classes to learn how to take awesome pictures to submit for the next DSC reviews. Recently, I've been taking a class called YouTube Success, Script, Shoot and Edit with MKBHD. And I have to say that it's really insightful to see how other creators make their videos, Seeing how top creators like Marquez plan his videos gave me a much better understanding on how to make YouTube videos more efficiently. All of the classes are curated specifically for learning, so there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and back to the setups. Oh wow, this looks like a render. It's so monochromatic. I think this is the Ampro 2. How are you running everything with just one cable? Where's the power? These hexagon lights are very affordable, so if you want something like the one I have like that, but a bit cheaper and smaller, 
Check out this hexagon light. I love warm and cozy setups. Should I get one of these lamps? We have a Kikuron K2 with the MX Master 3. I don't know what is this. The thing I like the most about having a screen bar is how it light up the entire desk. This wallpaper is such a nice fit. Look at that. There's so much green going on. I love it. Look at those shadows. Oh, so the plant is growing on this thing on the wall. I want you to do something like this in the future. Custom keyboard. I don't know what these speakers are, but they complement the setup really well. Oh, wow. You have a lot of screen going on. I love this wallpaper. It's so seamless. Custom keyboard. We have a felt desk pad. Sennheiser HD 800 with a mod mic. These speakers look nice. I have seen a number of setups using this thing on the wall, but I don't know where they get it. Ooh, wait, Cherry MX Blues. That's a cool way of storing keycaps. This is the standard IKEA plan, but is this also from IKEA? I want something like this once I get some wall shelves. In case anyone is wondering, these are the LifeX Beam. I really like how this is implemented. Look at that, it's my setup from a couple of months back. I've changed some things over the last couple of months, so let me know in the comments below if you want a new and updated setup tool. And don't forget to subscribe.